Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can use the editor in Calibre plus snippets plus the find feature in the editor plus regular expressions to do complex editing. This is a continuation of the prior video which showed this same stuff but in less detail. I have got this open to chapter 47. Uh, it's HTML segment 47, but it's chapter 40. There are more HTML segments than there are chapters. And I want to get rid of what I think is complex looking code that doesn't need to be there. I prefer something that looks less complex. And for that reason, I have my own style sheet. And the cascading style sheet has got some simple things in it like I just put in H2 and I just put in P for paragraph, T for title, and so on. NB will be page break before always. Now pictures never get broken in two horizontally but frames do and they make a mess especially if the frame has both text and a picture in it. So I created dot n b page break before always and i will wrap that around as a division anything that i don't want broken and i say division because it's got a dot in front of it and that means it's going to be a division and that will be effective whereas if i had put in page break before always in just inside of a frame it, it does not work. Let me let me go up to a frame here and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what they look like. You see I do not have a dot in front of these things. I've, I just put left angle bracket FA right angle bracket and that means frame auto width. Uh, frame 10% width, frame quarter quarter to the right, frame half, frame half to the right. These are the common attributes that belong to all the frames. And then as you go down here, I've got the exceptional thing that belongs to that particular frame in the main, just the width. See, I tried putting in here page break before always. It doesn't work. I tried and I tried. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Quarter to the right and so on. I'm now going to go back to the chapter and we're going to go through it using uh, a regular expression that I showed in the last video. It's left angle bracket dot star question mark right angle bracket. It will find progressively anything that's in the angle brackets. Anything and everything. and in order to go from one to another, you just hit find. However, there is a key. You can just hit F3 and it'll do the same thing. Now, there's a problem in that it's, it's very tedious to go through an entire book that has so many things in the angle bracket. So I want to modify this by putting an exclusion in there so that it doesn't stop at every mere paragraph. So I will now add something to the code here which will keep it from stopping at every single P for paragraph. So I'm going to put square bracket, the word not, which is a caret, a P, and then the close angle bracket. And that's going to avoid stopping at every paragraph. And it works really good. So I'm right here. I'm right here. You see where I am. And I'm just going to hit F3, 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 F3. And this is at the top. All this stuff up here is at the top of every HTML segment. But then when I get past body, I'm now getting into that code business that I want to get rid of. So I'll hit delete, F3, delete, F3, delete. F3, delete, F3, delete, delete, delete. 
that changed this chapter to just plain old regular text. But what I want to do is put a box around it and I'm going to use snippets to do that. So I'm going to say that it is, I have, you have to remember your snippets or write them down somewhere, HF. So H is header with a frame and then I hit control J and it expands. But it expands the whole darn thing. In order to stop it, you put in left angle bracket slash, left angle bracket slash, and that limits it to just what you want to limit it to. I want to do one more thing. Right here at the end of 40, I'm going to put in B, control J, and that puts in a break. Now, I showed before how you can go in there and create and edit these snippets. The long way is to go to Help, Preferences. Where is the darn thing? See, I never can remember. Editor, Manage Snippets, and there you are. You've got all of your snippets, and I've got too many of them, and I erase them and create them left and right, and then there are some that are built in. Well, I'm going to say OK. And I want to show you that you can pop this thing up by creating a snippet. So keyboard sh shortcuts. And if you can't remember, just type in the thing you're looking for. Snippet. Shazam! I created a keyboard shortcut right here. And I said Alt semicolon will pop open that same window. While I'm at it, I want to show you another one. NEXT. Next, next, next. Find next. F3 is the next find shortcut. I'll explain that in a second. If I want to get my snippets up to look at them or create them or uh, delete one or modify one, you just hit Alt, semicolon, and there they are. When I'm down here in Find, every time I hit F over here, it finds the next thing. So I go Find, 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 or instead of using this down here, I just hit F3. Okay, I have got this working the way I want to, and I'm skipping all of the P's at the beginning of a paragraph. I will stop at the end of each P, and I want to go all the way through this chapter to see if there's anything I want to delete or change or alter. Oh dear me, this is pretty good. There's no pictures. Most of the time I put pictures and frames all over the place. And I'm done. Oh no, I'm going to get rid of that. Delete delete. Control S to save. Hit F3 again and it goes from chapter 47 to 48. And here I am at 48. Okay, if you want to you can get rid of the junk that accumulates up here by hitting Control Alt W. And that just leaves the one that you're looking at right here. F3, 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 F3. And when I get past the body, delete. F3, delete. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, delete, delete. Oh, I want to keep that. This uh, picture is, uh, it is a graphic full width. Well, I don't want it full width. I'm going to make it half width. F3, delete, 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 delete. I've got to change this. I want to put up here HF, control J. But now I don't have my picture in there. So I want to grab my picture, 
Control X, and I want to put my picture in ahead of the text, Control V. Hmm. End of part three. I want to make darn sure that this break always happens no matter how wide the guy's screen is. Control S, F3, F3, F3. Now here's part four. The same old stuff, but I want to show you a frame in the middle of text. So let me find something. Well, a picture, I don't have to mess with it. The picture is a picture. But I do need to make sure that the frames are not messed up. All right, this one right here I want to use as an example. F3, F3, F3. Oh, you can tell I live in Texas. No break frame. Control J. You see these dashes right here? I'm going to hit B, Control J. That puts the guy's name at the bottom. My name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics is one of an ongoing series that shows how you can make complex EPUBs and do your own editing.